What's up guys, what's going on? Start of a new week, Sunday, and things first, today I am going, well, before I do any ground around this box, because I promised Pete that I had something in here potentially that he could use. I wanna say assisting in the process, and that's all, in getting her set up, logging. Just give her a couple of starts. Starter things like GoPro, Mike, all that shit. So Jess is gonna come down with me. I asked her to come down with me. It turns out we're gonna surprise people. We're gonna go to Best Buy before we go to his house. We're gonna get him the last remaining thing. So we need to my SD card for Maddie. A couple of wire and like those GoPro attachments. I found everything else for him. So found the cage, found the attachment for the mic, a mic cable, and a Rode Video Micro. So got everything and I even found him a couple extra batteries. So this is gonna save Pete a lot of money. I don't use these things. They're of no use to me. I haven't used them in at least a year and a half. Why not give them to Maddie? She's starting out. These are all easy things, man. And as a biggest thing if i'm not using it might as well give it to someone who's gonna use it finally heading out just getting a little doggy ready oh, so loud. oh yeah i got the ribs got uh, one burner working <laughs> got one burner working i have those all the time me too me too tyson is just exploring pete's backyard <laughs> Trying to familiarize himself with everything. Pete's got a fucking trampoline back here, bro. Yo, Pete, I should take my turn in there. Can that hold me? <laughs> uh, it's good to like 300 pounds. I'm about 240. <laughs> I might get on a trampoline myself. Show y'all. Show. Oh, hold on, Bubba. Show y'all how it gets down up here. Tyson. <laughs> it's got like mics on both sides. It's very hot, so Tyson has just found himself a shady spot. Hey. Pretty boy. Ah, uh, we're finally home. After, oh, I have the keys. We're finally home. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Jen. Thank you to the kids for hosting us, making us food, and letting us just hang out when we haven't seen much of that lady. And I think uh, I think the pooch is excited to be home. Hi, Bubba. Uh, I love you too. Mwah. I think he likes it. Eat that bone. He's not supposed to eat it on the couch, but I'm letting it. So, once again, one of the biggest problems I had at my old place was people parking in my spot. I come home tonight, literally, somebody at the back of the building is parked in my fucking spot. Uh, should we call a tow truck on the people that parked in my spot? You see how much he cares about that matter. Not a fucking bit. Papa, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, good. Good boy. Papa. Good. What do you in the morning? Probably not the best idea. A little bit of breakfast this morning. So get, gotta get the right one. I should probably prep Tyson's breakfast first. Tyson. Good morning. Breakfast? Do you want breakfast? Sit. He's getting way too big. It's been a very productive morning. Loaded the dishwasher, took Tyson for a walk, ate his breakfast, now I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'm gonna import some footage from Sunday and yesterday and a little bit of today. That I was gonna buy a magnetic whiteboard so I could write all my ideas. Or if I'm planning a video, plan it on there. I'm still gonna use a booklet, but like, just map out ideas or things that I need to remember. So it's right there in my office, and the idea is that I'll never forget. I'm not even sure how much I paid for this. I just, I grabbed whatever Walmart had, so. This is the marker for it, obviously, and it's, what is it, 17 by 23? So, I mean, it seems pretty reasonable. Give it a try now. Rip it open. Use like adhesive packs that you get. Seal it at the back. Now, so I'm pretty sure it's, Might take some time because you need some fucking claws. What are you doing? Hey! It's probably sold out when I yell at him, but. Guy's digging in the garbage, bro. Looking like he's homeless and shit. Something that he didn't. He was in there. He did something he didn't kill. Oh, soda. Forgot the. Trying some new, a new, another new restaurant today called Donlands Garden. Let's see how it tastes. Chicken fried rice, chicken and then broccoli. Chinese broccoli. It's just it's bok choy. 
Oh, now she's on this show? No, she's just a guest. Mm. Oh, that's not bad. You know he's dating. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Huh? Chicken. Oh, well. Say hello. Look at his eyes. Say hello. All right, guys. What's up? Today it's Saturday. Interesting week I've had. So I worked half day Sunday, full day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, half day Friday, half day Saturday. It's today. But in my half day today, I walked into like a broken down refrigeration system. And I've kind of showed you guys this process before, so I didn't feel the need to like vlog it. Plus, these are situations that require like snappy reactions. So I didn't I didn't think about pulling out my phone or vlogging with my phone. But I thought it was like I thought when I went to this store I would be done with this. Turns out I'm actually not. And the day just got progressively worse. It's a little better now. And I'm gonna share with you guys in a minute why I was so annoyed about what happened. So the situation I was referring to was an employee of mine whom I have no problem with. I actually think the kid's a good kid. He's super helpful. He, in the midst of me dealing with customers, irritating questions, everybody was asking me so much and I was just trying to make the right decisions, react accordingly, tackle one task at a time. This individual approached me and addressed me. I reacted harshly. But I always have this belief like you should never approach somebody when they're in a state of frustration or they're just, they're being pulled in multiple directions. I feel like if you're going to do that, you really have to approach that person with caution, understanding what they're already dealing with. It's not easy when, when this situation happens. You need to get answers, you need to get the problem resolved, you need to ensure safety of customers, how much product did you lose, how much product can we salvage? All of these things are happening and you have to get all these answers snappy right? like nobody's nobody's waiting you can't tell nobody oh give me 20 minutes they don't want to hear that so the pressure is just on your back on your staff's back maybe the tone that he asked me about was out of concern and i think after a couple hours i genuinely felt bad i don't know these interactions always make me feel bad i don't like being shitty to people because the concern he had was valid i think that's where my confusion comes from like how about how i feel i feel okay about how i addressed him in return to the way he addressed me but i understood after sitting down for like an hour or two and kind of dealing, still dealing with the situation I was processing, like this young man had a legitimate concern. If he had have addressed me differently, I think I would have handled it. And I always, when you know things like this happen, I always wonder like, hence why I asked you guys a question, how would you have handled that? Would you have lost your shit and been like, yo, who the fuck you talking to, yada, yada, yada. Everyone handles stuff differently, but I just, I like to learn, I like to grow, I like to be the best version of myself I can be. And I just didn't feel like that, that was, I didn't feel like that came up. Where the move is on the shelf is patient. Up, oh, good boy. I figured it out. I was doing something wrong. So on the back, there's a switch under here that if you turn stamina mode on, you can't switch between recording modes, which is right here essentially. So figure that out. Thank you, Google. What it would look like in my little nook. I'm here. I got everything I need. That's all I care about. And plus, I wanted to be able to just turn and like right on this board or post something on this board. And I couldn't do that with the desk the other way because it was kind of like things were in the way here. So yeah, it's, 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 it's better now. All right guys, I'm gonna take a shower. It's Sunday. I had so many plans today. I didn't get a chance to do fuck all. I'm doing some audio tests for the podcast tonight, which I will share with you guys. Cause I got somebody who I asked to do the podcast. I was super surprised that she said yes but she wants to hear how her voice sounds on camera, which can't blame her. You know, some people are more concerned about those things than others. I could care less what the fuck I sound like. If you're gonna listen to it, you're gonna listen to it. If you're not gonna listen to it, you're not gonna listen to it. So Tyson knows we're going to play. Tyson, come here, boy. Say hi, come on, say hi. <laughs> Costco. So you get a three pack for like 18 bucks and 24 ounces. Put some ice in there, put some water in there. It's perfect. This one, I have one in the car and I have one here. And then I gave just watch us a pink one. Taking Tyson out for some early fetch. We're just hoping the park's not full. With children, you know. I don't know that we couldn't let him go, but sometimes kids just get like really close. Parents get uneasy. Oh, we got lucky. It's empty. 
One round to fetch. Yeah. One round to fetch and he's on his bum already. He's in somewhere over there and he's getting introduced to two dogs. Mm -hmm.